Welcome back, everybody, to Imperion Galactic Survival on Alpha 11. I am an old guy gaming, and this is the Dead is Dead series. And uh, unfortunately, once again, OBS and Imperion decided not to get along with each other, and I recorded some footage uh, at the wrong resolution, didn't notice it, and uh, basically lost it. Um, so if you guys you know, haven't heard me talk about this issue before. Occasionally what will happen is I'll start Imperion up and OBS will, you know, when it captures the window, it, it captures it at the wrong resolution. And I don't always notice that. And, um, and in this particular case, I recorded a couple episodes. And I didn't even notice it until I went to start editing. And then I'm going, what the hell? So, um, unfortunately, nothing I can do about it other than just kind of get you caught up on where we are and then move on from there. So apologize uh, for that, but sometimes shit happens. Okay, so that being said, let's go ahead and get you caught up to where we are. You didn't you didn't miss anything super exciting, but I did make, uh, you know, fairly significant progress uh, in those last two episodes that we lost. So let's start by um, taking a look at the... Uh, let's take a look at... Whoop, there. Here, so you can see I haven't died yet, so that's the important thing, because this is, after all, a Dead is Dead series. I am I am level 3 now, and speaking of levels, uh, what I took for those levels are basically uh, th hover thrusters and hover engines and a harvest module. Uh, those are the things that we chose, uh, you know, for making stuff. Now, and, and you can see, too, I found a small constructor. I believe I found this in one of the um, caches, supply caches. I came across it and picked it up and let's see what else i don't know if i had found the medic station uh in this i think the last episode you guys saw would have been episode two i don't think that was on there um so i i found a medic station basically in a a poi um in fact that was like the, almost the only thing that was in there and it wasn't actually in there as a medic station it was in there as one of the other medical stations and it was kind of attached up in the corner on the roof in a dark building and I barely even noticed it um, but I did find it which has been fantastic because now we have an actual medical station uh, you can see that I've got the base going now uh, so we found you know in the loot um, we found fuel tanks and oxygen tanks or at least a oxygen tank uh, so we got the base going now and it is pressurized and warmed up and uh, safe from radiation that sort of thing um, as far as the hover vessel goes, I ended up having to take and put the two uh, storage containers. I originally had, I think, put four storage containers on here. Maybe I hadn't done that in episode two. I can't remember. And you know, the little thing with the, with the with the repulsor ends just can barely, you know, and with the new changes, of course, here in Alpha 11, uh, could could barely carry stuff. So I had to remove the 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 number down to two and put them right in the center, so I wasn't you know going going uh, cockeyed you know when we were trying to travel around. Uh, the other thing about the hover vessel, the repulsor engines here in Alpha 11 is they're really slow too, without thrusters, and so that's why I made um, you know these thrusters and uh, where are they at? Oh, here we go. Yeah, so we've got two thrusters and four hover engines, and we're going to do a little upgrade on the hover vessel so we can move a little more quickly and hopefully with these, you know, be able to carry a little bit more weight. Okay, so as far as the map goes, um, we went way up north, and I found a generator up here, but that was a very long trip because, remember, this thing goes really slow. It's about, I would say, at least as slow and maybe even a touch slower than the motorcycle. So it does not go as fast as it used to. Um, so it took us a long time to get up there. And, you know, by that time, I had a bunch of body radiation, and, and, and we had to turn around and come back. So I never actually brought those generators back because of the fact that they were too damn heavy. Uh, that, but I brought the, brought the small constructor back, I think, from there. <clears throat> but I found I ended up finding uh, more generators closer to home. And so all of these things that are marked with the flags are looted POIs and I want you know I wanted to mark them so that way I wouldn't come back to them later and wonder if I had looted them and some of them of course the ones that you don't see an icon for are um, just uh, junk uh, the junk areas also I found two small uh, vessel wrecks but I'm not seeing not seeing the, the other one I thought I had book bar marked it but I must not but I think it's somewhere around in here <coughs> And of course, the small vessels have thrusters on them and other small vessel components. And so, you know, what 
I had what what I'm planning on doing, and what I left off the last episode that I you know that I would have posted if if it hadn't been screwed up, was that you know we're going to upgrade the hover vessel, and we're going to um, then go and get all of that small all those small vessel components off those two small vessels, <clears throat> and maybe even be able to build a small vessel before we actually have the skills to do so because you have to be level five in order to you know make uh the thrusters for small vessels and the landing gears i guess the landing gears are not that important but the thrusters and all that um so that's kind of what our, our our next goal is is to see if we can get enough parts for you know so that we can actually make a small vessel a little bit earlier than we otherwise could but the problem right now is that you know with just the repulsor engines on here i i can hardly carry I can carry way more weight in my own inventory than this thing can, so we've got to get this upgraded so we can bring that stuff back. I didn't want to go, you know, take it all apart and not be able to carry it back here. Okay, so that's kind of what we're about. Um, we're doing pretty good health-wise. Uh, as you can see, I have five ration packs on my toolbar. We found, all, I think, almost all of those we have found in, you know, the junk piles looted all over the place. Everything that's on this menu that's a push pin, I have not yet looted because I didn't have, you know, I just marked it, on, you know, coming back. Uh, so we, we've got at least four more areas here that we can go to for rations. And almost every junk pile I've come across has had a, a ration in it, uh, at least the large ones. There seems to be like two or three sizes, and the, and the big ones almost always have a ration in it. Uh, so, you know, more than likely we have more food there if we need it. But five rations is actually going to last us quite some time. Uh, now that I have a cockpit, you know, to move around in, too, I'm able to conserve my both my oxygen and my food uh, quite a bit more than I would be able to if I was still out there running around on foot. Okay, so I think that's pretty much gets us caught up. I, I'm just using these, these lockers for some extra crap here. Um, what I want to do first, though, before we um, before we before we do any major upgrades on the hover vessel, I want to attach this guy and just go get some more wood because I'm completely out of wood. And so that way we can just get fuel cranking like crazy. And in fact, uh, <coughs> we might as well... Where did I put those? Uh, we might as well set these guys down outside too. Um, uh, uh, we're, we're doing fine on oxygen too, as you can see. we got tons of oxygen now. Uh, but let's go set these guys outside too. So, And then we're just going to go get a bunch of wood with the harvest module so we can just get the fuel cranking out. Now, something that's kind of weird here too is that for some reason right around this, these lockers... Haven't decided or determined what it is, but uh, there, there's some kind of a leak right here. So you see in the upper right hand corner now it's minus 7 degrees. But if I go back over here, you know, then it gets back up to the normal 71 degrees in here. So uh, something's leaking over here. I'm not sure what it is unless... Yeah, see there's a full block behind there. So there shouldn't... There, It doesn't make sense to me why this spot right here is cold. Because I mean if we get over here... Uh, well, yeah, it looks like that spot's cold too. But, so it's kind of this whole corner then. Um, I wonder if this thing is not airtight. It's a non-transparent uh, block. So I would think something like that would be airtight, but maybe it's not. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, we could actually test that theory. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a block. We'll just make it out of wood. And let's pull that... this guy off here and let's put this one in its place okay now nah, look it's still minus seven degrees right here I wonder if it's this block okay here let's um let's make another one I'm just <laughs> this has my curiosity up now let's make another wood block and we'll remove this one this time and see if, if that makes a difference Okay, so let's patch that up. Nope, it's still cold here. That is really weird, man. I don't I don't get that. I don't understand why it's cold here, because I don't see any broken, you know, seals or anything in here. Huh. Oh well, I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean it's not like we're gonna be standing over there. Um it got it caught me by surprise though, because I was standing in front of these lockers, and then all of a sudden I got cold and I'm going, What the hell? <laughs> and then I realized that uh 
you know, that's all messed up over there. So anyway. Okay, so let's see. Like I said, we want to go... Uh, we want to go get some wood. Let's do that first. We'll throw that stuff in there. Um, we'll probably put some more cargo boxes on the hover vessel once we get the hover engines on it. In fact, we, don't, we might as well put those on right now. There's no reason not to. Um, so yeah, let's do that. We are not uh, big enough yet to make extensions. Or actually, we can make the extensions, but we can't... I don't think we can make the... No, we can make the controllers, but I don't think we can make the extensions. Let me double check that, though. Maybe we can now. Yeah, so you have to be level 5 to make the extensions. And the controllers by themselves, I think, actually have less capacity than just the storage crates, if I'm correct about that. So it doesn't make sense for us to use controllers yet. All right, let's go ahead and modify this a little bit. Let's bring it out here a little more so it's not over that hole. Oh, uh, just a little... A little extra something something for you guys too I um I went into creative mode and hold on a sec let's get this put down so we don't get cold okay so I went into creative mode and spawned in all of my current ships uh, in a survival world and none of them work <laughs> <laughs> and of course, that does not come as a surprise. Uh, I just wanted to, to see if they would work at all. <clears throat> and not a single one of them will move. I mean, it's just every single one of them is screwed up. The only thing that, w that I could even just barely move along was the camo miner. And even it's <laughs> even it's all screwed up, too. So that was to be expected. You know? I'm not saying I'm surprised about that. But I wanted to I wanted to test it out and just see, you know, what what's what with that. Okay, so this guy's using... Um, this is, this is plenty within the CPU at the moment. Uh, so I'm just wondering if I could keep the repulsor engines on there and just add these as extras um, and see, you know, see what it does to the CPU. Okay. All right. Now let's look at the CPU now. And see if we can get away with that. Oh yeah, we're we're still miles and miles within the CPU usage. So it counts all of those as as hover engines, even though you know they're repulsor engines. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we're 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 doing really good as far as that goes. Okay. So um, let's go ahead then and put on more. Um, more cargo bins, but I want to think about how I want to do this first. We've got those two in the center. So what we could do is put one in behind two. Whoops. So that way if we get a little front heavy, we could put stuff on the back too. I want, I just want to try and keep things, you know, uh, centered. So we don't go sideways. I'd rather go a little, you know, tip a little forward or tip a little backwards than go sideways. Why? I don't know. I just would. <laughs> so let's let's go ahead and just work with these three for now. And we'll see how things go. It's still not going to give us a ton of space, but it should give us plenty of space to bring back a nice load of wood. So what I want to do is let's re... Oh, we got to put the thrusters on. That's going to take some CPU. I didn't... I forgot about that. Yeah, let's... Okay, let's go back here. I think I'm only going to put rear thrusters on for now. I just want to be able to travel uh, faster. And those guys, we could probably just stick right on the back here. All right, now let's look at the CPU. And we'll stand in front of the thruster and warm up, too, while we're at it, right? Is that keeping me warm? Yeah, it's keeping me at 44. No, this is what's keeping me warm, I was going to say. Yeah, it does not work very well. Okay, so now we're at, <clears throat> with the two thrusters. Oh, those don't use up much at all. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I thought those would use a hell of a lot more. We've got tons of CPU to play with here, you guys, on this thing. Tons of CPU. If that's the case... Maybe we should make some more thrusters. Well, let's just try these first. 
Let's try these first and see how they work, and then we'll go from there. <clears throat> okay, I want to put these other... I want to put these other um, thingamadoodles down, because we're going to just have all of these guys cranking out uh, fuel like crazy. That's their main job, because I'm not using them really for anything else now, since we have the... <coughs> excuse me, have the small uh, constructor. Okay, let's get some more O2. These guys are... I wouldn't say they're low on fuel yet, but they're... They're going to be. Whoops, which is why I want to, uh, you know, get some more stuff. All right, now, a couple of things that you guys have mentioned in the comments. And by the way, I really appreciate all the comments and the tips and tricks and stuff. You guys are coming up with some awesome stuff. Some things I haven't, didn't even think about, uh, which is great, because that's kind of the whole point, right? Um, so one of you were saying I should be turning this water into the small uh, O2 tanks, and then I could use I can use those when I come across the large O2 tanks, you know, that are out in the wild there, that don't quite have, you have to have a minimum of 250 oxygen to pull one blue tank out of them. And so what you guys are saying is I could feed the small tanks into those to get them up to 250 so I can get like a full tank, which is a fantastic idea. I didn't even think about that until that was suggested to me. So uh, thank you very much for whoever, 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 blah, blah, I mentioned that. I, I apologize. I don't remember your name off the top of my head. I know who you are, but I just can't, <laughs> I can't remember your name. So, um, I really appreciate you letting me know that. And I, yeah, I'm not going to say whose name it is because I don't want to get the wrong person. But I'll just, just know I really appreciate all the comments you guys are leaving. That's great. Now, an another one, one of you said that I can find um, a POI with white loot crates in it, and I can, uh, and I, and I can get like a, a Tech Two uh, multi tool out of there, which is also super cool. So uh, we'll be on the lookout for that. Um, and there was one other really good suggestion that somebody gave me today. Let me look really quick here on my phone. Anthony Shaddix is the one who mentioned the um, the O2 tank. So Anthony, thank you very much uh, for doing that. And um, also Blue76 had a very similar suggestion. So guys, really appreciate that. Um, J Hole C, J Hole C um, mentioned the one about finding the white loot containers uh, to get the, the multi tool. I don't know um, if I pronounced your name correctly. Uh, if I didn't, forgive me. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure how you, you actually pronounce that, but that's what it look, looks like to me. Um, and then also uh, J Hole C uh, mentioned going to the Hongo engine compartments, uh, leaving them on public and disassembling them, and I would get a bunch of XP from doing that. So that's a great idea, too. Plus, we could use the components. So really good uh, suggestions, you guys. Super appreciate it. And, uh, you know, keep those comments coming. Keep those comments coming. Really love it. Okay. So we got that out of the way. Now, let's... Um, what do we need to do? I was going to do something. Can't remember. All right. Well, let's let's get the, um, the harvest module plop down on the front of this thing okay so that's done and man I was gonna do something else and I can't remember what the hell it was now hmm. whatever okay whatever uh, let's leave this cargo container here for now and I'm, I'm I have a feeling like I'm probably gonna be able to add more um, <clears throat> uh, to the hover vessel now that we've upgraded it and we can pro we should be able to add some more thrusters to it too because it's not even close to uh, you know to 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 capacity. All right, so we've got um the, what the hell? What <laughs> what's that number supposed to mean? That seems a little messed up. Last time I checked, we had about ten hours of power on the base. Uh, now it's some weird ass number, man. I don't know what the hell that's what's going on with that, but whatever. All right, let's turn this this constructor off for the moment. In fact, we don't need any lights on in here either. Let's turn all of those off for now. Uh, you know, just to keep. We don't even have a shield generator, anyways. Uh, so we just need. We just want to keep the oxygen flowing, of course, to keep everything warm in here. And we got a full tank there, and the fuel should be fine for now. Okay, I think we're ready to rock and roll. -a. So let's put, uh, oh, I know what I was going to do. I know what I was going to do. I was going to grab some more of this water that you guys were saying uh, to turn into the little oxygens. So let's maybe turn, say, 50 of those. 
uh, into the little guys. So we do that, of course, in our survival constructor. Well, we can only do 25, but yeah, we'll start with that. And um, let's take some hits here. I don't have an actual oxygen dispenser in the base. Um, and I, I kind of don't really need one at this point because I have plenty of portable oxygen. I want to keep the oxygen tank full so we can keep things warm in here. That's that's the more, hot, you know, the more important priority right now. Um, looks like we're damaged a little bit too. I'm not sure how that happened. Uh, oh, I know. I think I know what happened. Uh, we had some acid rain in the last episode that I lost. And I was trying to, you know, do some inventory management and dodge that. Speaking of which, now we got hail. Lovely. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> you can't win, man. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna make a mad dash for the for this. Whoa! There we go. Okay, so now we've got real thrusters. Oh, look at that, baby. That is amazing. That is amazing. If you guys have not, uh, we still can't turn worth a shit. Maybe we should consider putting. Well, you know what? The, the thrust lateral thrusters will help us turn, won't they? Okay, let's do that later. Let's do that later. Um, what I was going to say, though, was that um, if you guys haven't tried a hover vessel with just the repulsor engines in Alpha 11, it is slow. It is painfully slow. I think at top speed, the thing moves maybe this fast. And that's no word of lie, man. It just, it's just slower than hell. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. That's why I'm so excited to be able to actually go this fast now. Um, in case you guys are wondering, okay, what's the big deal there? It's always gone that fast. Well, not anymore. <laughs> not with the repulsor engines, it doesn't. Okay, so we need to find some trees, and we're going to get ourselves a bunch of wood so that we can make a bunch of fuel. That's the next goal here. Ooh, that's loud. Let me turn that down a little bit on my end. Harvest box is missing. What? We need to make a harvest box. B -b box. I'm such a noob. Okay, let's go back to the base and make some a harvest box. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put some lateral thrusters on here because it still doesn't turn worth a shit. And if I can get it to turn worth a shit um, with thrusters, then we won't have to put a CPU-hungry RCS on here. We've got this hail that's going to cause us a little bit of trouble, though. Um, all right, so let's see. We we're gonna we want to make two lateral thrusters. We don't think we need a reverse thruster, and we need to make a harvest box. Okay, here we go. Run, 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 run. Take a shower. Oh shit! There we go. <laughs> oh, it got us, bastard. Okay, let's turn this back on, and we need to make a harvest module like. Hope I've got that learnt. Let's take a look. Hover vessel. Controller. Ornwood. There we go. Yeah, so we're probably going to have to... Um, we're going to have to pull the wood out of here and manually put it in the other storage containers until we can make extensions, which is fine. We can, we can make that work. We can make that work. Okay, so let's go to hover vessel and... Uh, we want that, and then we want two more thrusters, lateral thrusters, and see if, you know, that'll help us turn better. All right. We're going to have to eat here pretty soon, but I'm I'm actually not too worried about food right now. I mean, we got five rations, and we have, like I said, four more junk piles that we haven't even touched yet. And just, like I said, just about every one of the large ones of those we've seen and have had a ration in one of the one of the storage bins, so that's phantasmagorical. That's a true word, by the way, phantasmagorical. Not really, I'm bullshitting you. Okay, it's a word in old guy vocabulary. How's our thingamadoodle doing? Okay, so it's good. it's made 14 of those. That's such a good idea, Anthony Shaddix. Thank you very much, and Blue76 for giving me that. I would never would have thought to do that in a million years. Super good idea. Uh, all right. Let's see. What are you doing? You're making one more thruster. So now we got our our ore box, and we just have to wait for that other thruster to come in. Yeah, because there was there's probably been like two or three tanks, you know, that I found out out in the field there that uh, didn't quite have 250 O2 in them. And in the very early game here, you know, every one of these little things is like gold. 
to have those blue tanks. Are you done yet? What the hell? Just about. I see they still haven't fixed that little bug where it shows like it's finished when it really isn't. Okay, so let's put these guys down here on the, the toolbar. Is it still hailing out? No, it's not. Okay, we're good. So, um, probably the thrust, the lateral thrusters, I think we're probably going to want those somewhere right about in the middle. I might end up putting more uh, cargo things down there, though. So, let's hold these up on... Oh, not good. Okay, let's hold these up on the cockpit. And probably right about there, I'm thinking. <sighs> we didn't need to get cold like that, but shit happens sometimes. All right, where did I put that on this side? It is right there. Okay, so it goes right here. All right, we'll see how that does, you know, for making this turn. Now we need to find a spot to plop down uh, the harvest controller. Where everything's still balanced. I guess we'll just put that in the back for now. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's go. Much better. I mean, it still doesn't turn like on a dime, but it does a noticeable difference in turning. And for, you know, the purpose of this particular vehicle, that works just fine. Hmm, interesting. Okay. All right, let's get some wood. Okay, guys. Um, I think this is a junk pile that we have not looted yet. So, um, hold on a sec. Let me do something here real quick. Okay. Yeah, because I don't have either that or I forgot to, to bookmark it. So let's hop out and look. This is really cool, too. Check out the HUD. Um, down uh, kind of in the lower left there, when I have the harvest module selected, it, sh it tells me how full the container is. That is, like, really awesome. I love that change for sure. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and go into here. And we want to go to the hover vessel, um, cargo box. Oh, I was going to name these two. Um, here, yeah, let's do something here real quick. I kind of need to know which one's which so I can, you know, somewhat evenly distribute the, the weight. So let's stop here. Okay, so we'll call this one one. I guess we have to group them, don't we? We're just going to call it one. I already know it's a cargo box. Okay, let's get back in here and warm up a little bit. We'll call this one two. And this one in the back we'll call three. Okay, cool. Now, let's go into the wireless menu and we want to go to the ore controller there and throw all of this wood into one. Perfect. Okay, let's check out this junkyard. Kind of get in the center here so I can get back to my cockpit as needed. Okay, wow, that does not want to back up. Okay, hold on a sec. It's probably because of weight. We, might, you know what? I might actually, since we have plenty of CPU, I might as well put a front, a forward thruster on too, or, or I should say a reverse thruster. Yeah, because see, it's uh, it's kind of drifting forward a little bit there. Interesting. Okay, let's check here really quick. Our light on. Nothing in there. Okay, yeah. You know what? I must have looted this. I just forgot to mark it. Okay. I thought that was 
a little odd because it's so close to the base, you know? So let's do, um, a looted. It's kind of funny how, how it goes white if you don't say bookmark. Or waypoint, rather. Maybe there's a difference between a bookmark and a waypoint. That would be my my guess. Because it looks like I forgot to do it on that one, too. Okay. So this is this has been looted, so let's go hit some more trees. Alright guys, so uh, we got 56% um, uh, towards level 4, and uh, the hovercraft itself is completely filled up. So I've got 50 in there, i got 33 in there, plus the cores. I should have taken those cores out for this, but, um, uh, and we still have really good, you know, performance. So this thing can definitely carry a whole lot more weight uh, than we, we've put on here, so we can, uh, we can add some more, um, um, uh, storage bins to this and be just fine, I'm sure, which we're going to probably need when we start uh, taking apart the small vessel. Um, but we definitely need, I definitely need to put a reverse thruster on here because I can't back up at all. Uh, you know, once we get the weight in here, um, and there's just no backing up. The repulsor engines cannot handle that at all. Uh, but that's good to know. So we got a pretty good supply of wood. We're going to go put damn near all of this uh, in the portable constructors and get them going on fuel because it's free you know free energy well free energy to use the constructors themselves and then we need to put a, a forward or rather I should say a reverse thruster we mount it to the front of the vessel but it'll make us go in reverse of course okay so let's go ahead and open this up and can we Oh, no, we can't. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to have to... Uh, that's another thing, too. I should see if I can make... I don't know if I can make a wireless yet or not. So, well, part of the problem, though, is I've got a whole bunch of heavy other stuff in here. So let's get rid of that first. We, we've got some more fuel. In fact, you know what? Let's take this fuel and put it right on into the base. That gives us a lot of fuel. I don't know what the hell is going on with this. That must be um, seconds, maybe? Well, no, I don't think it's seconds. It's 662-143-52. 662-143-52. Six, yeah, it's the same number. Okay, so that just went down. Something's just skewed on here is all. Because this, this still looks like it's minutes. There's no way... <laughs> There's no way that could be ours. Absolutely no way it could be ours. Uh, last time I checked, it was it was saying it was like somewhere like 10 hours. So yeah, something got, something got messed up with that. Uh, I'm not worried about that. I'm sure we have gobs and drops of fuel. Okay, so what uh, we just uh, emptied out... Whoop. We just emptied out uh, a lot of our inventory. So that means we should be able to now put uh, quite a bit more wood directly into our inventory. Let's switch these around just because 
it weirds me out having my, my inventory on the other side. I know it's stupid, doesn't matter, but it does. That's all there is to it. Okay. So, let's go ahead and put a half a stack in there and queue up some fuel. We'll put a half a stack in here and queue up, queue up some fuel. We will put almost a half a stack in here. All right. Now let's get the next load. So we unloaded one and two, and now we have to do three. Okay. Put a half stack in there. And a half stack in there. Excellent. Okay, we're going to be cranking out the fuel now. We had a couple more there. Okay, good. How are you guys doing? So you're down to one fuel. But, I mean, we, we've got so much surplus O2. <coughs> Excuse me. Now that uh, if these guys go idle, whoops, uh, idle for a little bit, it's not a big deal. Oh, you know what? I do have a little bit of fuel here, don't I? Okay. Do we have enough to put two in each one? One of these, I think it was this one, had another fuel in it as well. Okay. So that has one in it. And that has one in it. There we go. All right, so that way that you know that keeps them going. Like I said, though, it's not a, a huge deal if they stop for a little bit, but if we can avoid that, let's avoid it. Yeah, we got tons of O2. Okay, how are we doing on our little our little guys? Okay, let's just carry those around with us for now. I don't want to take up you know a bunch of slots though either. And uh, we'll suck. Oh, no, actually, here. Let's put these... I got on my toolbar, didn't they? I wish we could access our toolbar from inside the ship, but it flashes for a second and then it, it doesn't. So I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. It's a little bit irritating. Okay, so let's go oxygen. We'll put those extra three in there. And we'll put a blue in there too. And then we still have two full containers on top of that. So, feeling really good about our oxygen situation right now. Let's put uh, those in there. We're going to keep the portables with us. And yeah, I think we're in good shape. All right, guys. Well, I think that wraps up this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave more awesome comments, share out the video, all that good stuff. And uh, we will continue on um in the next episode the plan is going to be that we're going to go hit those small vessels get all the parts off of them and see if we can make ourselves a small vessel okay and uh i'm also going to add more storage to the hover vessel too i'll probably just add the storage off camera real quick uh, so that'll be ready to go when we come back oh right and we need another thruster too right so let's get that queued up too i'm thinking let's let's try an rcs too do i have one on here no let's try an rcs too because it's still you know it's it's still not turning as well as i would like it to and we'll you know see because we still got a lot of cpu to play with too all right guys catch you in the next episode Bye bye